Yahoo, and welcome back to my channel, everyone. I am Super Genki, and I just thought I would tell you the conclusion of what happened with the girl I met at the airport, because there's a happy ending. If you haven't seen the first video I made in Portugal, there will be a link in the description explaining what happened. But just to give you a quick recap, I went to the airport, I decided not to go to Miami, there were other people that I thought decided not to go to Miami as well, but I actually found out that they were denied entry into the United States of America. And one of these people I became personal with and she was really in trouble. So I tried my best to help her out at the airport with positivity, but it made me question whether positivity really was something that could realistically help people when they're having really tough times. I found out she was actually intending to go to America to meet her four-year boyfriend and subsequently get married. So she was really excited to go to America and then all of that excitement was completely stomped on and kicked to the curve by the travel restrictions. The best advice that I gave her that day was telling her to relax, you're in Portugal, you don't have to leave back to Amsterdam the next day, you can wait a day, you can think about it, you can get your head straight. And this is what she did. Whether of her own volition or with my help, I'm just happy that she did that. And then last night we went out to dinner together and I found out all the details behind the situation. And basically it came to a lack of knowledge and understanding how to get to the United States. Her family had told her that it was okay, her boyfriend had called someone at the airport and he said it was okay but then he asked for the identification at the airport and the guy didn't have identification. Which means he may not have even been an official airport representative. And I'm still thinking about how can I help this person with her life. That's when I remembered that if you're married to an American citizen, you can enter into the United States because you become a citizen by right, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I told her this because I'm pretty sure that if you, as a citizen, marry someone that's not a citizen, you both are able to enter America together. So I got the good idea, tell your boyfriend to fly to somewhere that's not restricted from America and then you fly to the same place, go to a courthouse, get married, get the documents, and then you can fly back to America together and continue this journey. You don't have to wait until the borders open up because we don't know when the borders are gonna open up. It was a lot to take in and she was very quiet for most of the dinner session, but I do think that positivity led the way for me to be able to actually offer help of some use. And honestly speaking, I don't know if positivity is good in every situation, but I do know this, it can bridge the gap to allow people to simmer down and it will keep you in the mind of doing a good deed, good will. This is why you want to give people positivity. It's so that you can bridge the gap between their feelings and their rational thought. You know, if I wasn't positive, if I was negative in our first encounter, I probably wouldn't have wanted to help her. And if I didn't want to help her, I probably wouldn't have kept talking to her and kept trying to help her despite her being very ambivalent in a sense because, you know, a lot of stuff was happening. But because I did this, I was able to offer her some assistance that could dramatically affect and increase the value of her life. And that's great, right? This is just one of those experiences that you make on the layover, but all my experiences are made this way. And it's why I think it's just so cool to be about helping others and be about being positive. So that's the happy ending that happened with me and the girl. She left back to Amsterdam at 10 a.m. today and I wish her well. And we have a lot of stuff to do today. I'm really excited. We're gonna to go to the beach, we're gonna to go to Bellux Tower, we're gonna to do some walking, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And my plane flight isn't until 7 10 p.m., 7 50 p.m. I mean. And we have a lot of time. So I'm looking forward to making more videos and just exploring Portugal and sharing this experience with you. That's the video today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.